Hello everyone and welcome to my level 1299 farming guide and today I'm going to show you one of the fastest ways in which you can reach level 99. Do remember that in the description you can find some more information about farming and hopefully after watching this video you can get a good idea of what farming is about. During the video I will mention prices but do remember that these prices might be out of date. Um, just Look in the description below, you will be able to find the upload date. So hopefully this should give you a good idea of how much farming does cost. Also, once you reach level farming 95, you can buy a scroll of life. The scroll of life can be bought from Demonheim, which costs 10k Dungeoneering tokens. What this scroll does is that it gives you a 10% chance of receiving your seeds back. So this will save you a lot of money whilst getting your levels up to 99. From level 1 to level 30, you could do Bagged Plants 1. All you must do is either buy these plants from the Grand Exchange, or you can buy them in the farming area near Falador Square. And all you have to do is travel to your player own home, and then build these right next door to your portal. These have a total experience of 33 XP farming and 33 XP in construction. You have to construct a total of 495 of these plants to reach level 30. This costs around 50 gold coins per experience, so to reach level 30 it will cost you slightly over 600k gold coins. Every time you plant one of these trees, it uses up one dose of your watering can. The easiest way to fill up your watering can so you can stay here for quite some time is to build a kitchen right next door to your portal area. And then in your kitchen you build a sink and then you will have unlimited amounts of water. Another option you could use to reach level 13 in farming is to travel to any of the allotments around RuneScape. There are four allotments, one is in Falador, Another one is in Ardugna, another one is in Port Phasmatiz, and another one is in Caithaby. I strongly recommend staying at two allotments, so not traveling to all four allotments, mainly because it will be a bit too much work and it will be a bit too much hassle. So whilst you wait, you can either do some fire making or some fletching or some alking, which I strongly recommend. I strongly recommend that you always plant the highest seed possible with your farming level. So for example, from level 1 to 5 you do a potato seed, from level 5 to 7 onion seed, from level 7 to 12 cabbage seed, from level 12 to 20 tomato seed, and from level 20 to 30 sweet corn seed. Do remember that all this information is in the description area below. The allotment patches are very simple to explain. There are two vegetable patches, in the middle there is a flower patch and on the northeast side usually there is a herb patch. I strongly recommend that you use all the patches and then you reach the level required in the level until you can move on to either fruit patches or tree patches. Once you arrive at an allotment, usually you have to rake the weeds. So you can buy a rake usually in the farming shop nearby and always buy a seed diver and a spade. Add all of these three items to your tool belt uh, which will allow you to never forget or lose these items because they will always be in your tool belt. So all you must do once you arrive at an allotment is to rake the weeds if needed. If not needed, either place inside the allotments with a bucket, super compost or normal compost, and then you plant your seed. If required, you can use a watering can on your seeds, which will help your seed grow and prevent it from getting ill, etc. Most vegetable allotments have a requirement of around 40 to 50 minutes for growth time. So that means that it will take 40 to 50 minutes in real life time for your allotment patches to grow. Once your allotments have fully grown, all you have to do is harvest the, the produce that has been produced for waiting the amount of time. 
Do you remember that also if your allotments die, all you must do is buy a plant cure and use it on the allotments, flower or herb. Next up, for normal tree patches, there are five locations. One of them is in Lumbridge, another one is in Varrock Castle, another one is in Falador Park, and the next one is in Trenome Stronghold, and finally in Taverley. To the left of the screen, you can see all the levels required to plant each seed. To plant tree seeds, all you must do is buy a plant pot from the Grand Exchange or from any farming shop and then add the seed of the tree that you wish to add and then you add water from a watering can. It'll take around two to three minutes for your tree to turn into a sapling. Once the tree is in a sapling, you can plant it in any of the patches that you wish to plant it in. Do remember that you can use all five patches at the same time, um, so there's no level requirements to use each patch. From level 15 to level 30, you can plant acorn seeds, which cost 0.3 gold coins per experience. From level 30 to level 45, you can plant willow tree seeds, which also cost 0.3 gold coins per experience. From level 45 to level 60, you can plant maple tree seeds, which cost 10 gold coins per experience. From level 60 to level 75, you can plant yew tree seeds, which cost 13 gold coins per experience. And at level 75 to level 99, you can plant magic tree seeds, which cost the most, which is 16 gold coins per experience. Once you have planted your tree, it will take six to seven hours for it to become fully grown. Once the tree is fully grown, you arrive at your tree and you click it and it will say check health. You check the health and as it's fully grown, you will receive, depending on your seed, a nice amount of farming experience. Then you can either chop it down and plant a new tree or you can leave it and chop down the wood. If you wish to plant a new tree, you must cut down the whole tree, add compost or super compost or pay the farmer and then you add another tree. In case you can't afford to plant maple, yew or magic trees, that's okay because I know that many players have reached level 99 by only planting willow trees. If you plant willow trees all the way to 99, it will cost you slightly under 3 million gold coins if you do not collect the willow branches. Willow branches is kind of like a branch that you receive when your willow tree is full health. All you must do is use sequators on your willow tree and you will receive willow branches. This is not the same for all trees, this is only for willow tree. In the background you can see me going to all the tree patches around RuneScape and planting um, new trees and new saplings um, for me to check them later on in the day. If you do wake up in the morning and plant trees, you can do it again in the night time because it only takes six to seven hours for your tree to be fully grown, which is very good for a decent amount of experience. Next up is fruit trees. This has a similar process as the tree patches. You must buy or obtain the seed yourself and then you add it to a plant pot. You water the plant pot and it will become a sapling. Then you add the sapling to the patch and then your fruit tree will grow. There is six fruit patches that can be obtained all around RuneScape. One of them is in the Tree Gnome Stronghold, another one is in Catherby, another one is in Gnome Village, another one is in Brunhaven, another one is in Letla, which requires um, the Morning's End Part 1, and finally the last one is in Herblore Habitat, which can be obtained either with a Juju Spirit Bag or with a Witch Doctor's Mask. From level 27 to level 33, you can plant apple tree seeds. 
which once collected will give you a profit of 1.2 gold coins per experience. From level 33 to level 39, you can plant banana tree seeds, which also gives you a profit of 0.7 gold coins per experience. From level 39 to level 42, you can plant orange tree seeds, which also gives you a profit of 1 gold coin per experience. From level 42 to level 51, you can plant curry tree seeds, which gives you also a profit of 1.2 gold coins per experience. From level 51 to level 57, you can plant pineapple tree seeds, which costs you 1.4 gold coins per experience. At level 57 to level 68, you can plant papaya tree seeds, which costs you 3.1 gold coins per experience. From level 68 to level 99, you can plant palm tree seeds, which costs you 9.3 gold coins per experience. In the background now, you can see me going to all six patches and planting my fruit tree um, which will be ready in about 16 hours. Once the fruit tree is ready, all you have to do is travel to the patch, check the health, collect six of the fruits that your tree was of the product, and then you can chop it down and plant a new one. Also remember that in case you can't afford to plant um, the higher seeds, you can always stick to the lower seeds um, which will obviously get you to level 99 slightly slower, but it will still get you to level 99. Also remember that you can either pay your farmer to take care of your trees, or you can add super compost or normal compost before planting your fruit tree. And finally, you can plant special tree patches. At level 83 to level 99, you can plant spirit trees, which are free to plant and they provide the greatest amount of experience in the game for one checking the health of a tree. Do remember that in case you want to plant two spirit trees at a time, you must complete the Prisoners of Glufri. Also at level 72 to level 99, you can plant Calquat tree seeds, which are a great boost in the amount of experience that you can get per day. It only costs 1.5 gold coins per experience to plant Calquat tree seeds. So I hope this guide has helped you. If it has, please subscribe, like and comment. And if you have any questions, make sure you post them below in the commentary area. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment.